Game 4 of the Dallas Mavericks Los Angeles Clippers series was a banger and this whole series so far has been a coming out party for Luka Doncic in the NBA playoffs but I saw a couple things that have me concerned and this is why the LA Clippers are in trouble. It's the Hoops Breakdown. people my name is Greg and this is the Hoops Breakdown thanks for tuning in before we get started please give the subscribe button a click hit the notification bell and smash the like button as well if you enjoyed the video now watching game four of the Western Conference uh, first round playoff series between the Clippers and the Dallas Mavericks uh, we had a hell of a game on Sunday night and ahead of game five I wanted to break down a few things that I saw uh, that have me thinking that the Clippers are in a little bit of trouble if they don't uh, correct these things. But first of all, looking at the numbers from the game, uh, 133, 135 in overtime. It was a hell of a contest. The numbers are similar down the board. For the Clippers, you had Kawhi Leonard. This is what they brought him in for. He led the way. High scoring game for him. He rebounded well as well. A little bit low on the assists from the other night. But then, None of that mattered anyway because it just wasn't enough when you got this man doing what he does, Luka Doncic. You know, uh, former EuroLeague MVP as a teenager before he came to the NBA. You know, there's a lot of naysayers talking about that he was maybe a second round pick at best. But he's coming and he's showing that not only is he one of the best players in this draft class, he's probably one of the best players in the entire league right now. And the thing he does best is frankly in my opinion something that the Clippers are struggling with right now at the minute and that's the way that they're defending the pick and roll um, you know there's this is not to say that they're doing the wrong thing or they have the wrong game plan I think the execution is actually quite poor because I can understand the idea behind what it is that they're trying to do it's just not working out the way that they planned and um, I think the main reason behind that is how passive they are and there's, there's a lack of communication in so we're going to get into a few clips of the players I picked up on that show me that they're going to be in a whole world of trouble if they don't fix this. And it's starting with the very first player of the game, Trey Burke on the wing. One guy's ice and one guy's not. And right down Main Street. Right down Main Street, they give up an easy lip to be given straight away. It's not a good sign. The other problem with the drop coverage is how far off you're going to be of someone who's so willing to shoot like Luka Doncic. Now you're forcing the rotation that you didn't want to make in the first place and that's an easy jump for first in the corner. and the Mavericks know exactly what they're doing they're targeting Zubas every chance they get because he's not got the foot speed to keep up with the park car coming off here he patiently waits, attacks him and it's an easy layup at the win for Doncic on this next play he doesn't have to be so aggressive he's given up a layup inside when there's no help he needs to be a little bit smarter there on the ice and here the switch is so poor, you're giving Marjanovic deep position with nobody on the Clippers able to do anything with him at his size. Another drag screen in transition, Harrell is going back the whole time. Coming off a double pick, Berea knows if he gets the ball to whoever Zubac is guarding. He doesn't want to come out too far because he knows he's slow. Now he's giving up way too much room to Hardaway in the corner and it's easy money. Same again, attack in Zubac. He's doing knees, not guarding the ball, he's not guarding the roll, he's just giving up easy space inside. Dry screen in transition. Morris can't give up a rejection like that. And he fouls as well. Zubats again. In trouble, backing up, giving up the easy jump with the Doncic. Dry screen in transition. Patient, waits. Lets the defense fall asleep and hits Kleber inside. Easy. Same again, nice and patient, gets in for a nice floater. I think we're starting to see the theme here is that wherever Zubats is, the Mavericks are attacking there and Doncic is so smart and so patient in the pick and roll, he's going to take his time and find find where the space is, find where the advantage is. You know, he's been running pick and rolls at the pro level since he was 16 years old. And then now, because they've been hurt so many times, they're giving up exactly what they don't want to and that's an open pass to the corner for a wide open three. Doncic led the league in assists to three-point shooters this season so he definitely knows how to find his teammates and the way the Mavericks play if your name is not Luka Doncic your only job is to make shots so that's what the Clippers are trying to avoid is uh, him getting other guys involved in that way 
but because of what they've been seeing every time down the floor, you've got an overreaction and a wide open three in the corner. Again, he's putting Kawhi Leonard in jail here, taking his time, being real patient, and he drops it off to Marjanovic for the easy dunk. He's going to do the same here again, keep the defender in jail and go right at Harold into his chest. And there's also been a lot of talk about the game-winning play at the end of the game, um, about whether or not LA should have switched. Now, that's kind of been their identity of the ball a lot, is that to switch off ball screens. But Dallas picked up on that. Rick Carlisle and his staff did a great job uh, reading the game and seeing what it is that the Clippers do. And the foundation for that game-winning shot was set very early uh, in the sec in the fourth quarter, halfway through the fourth quarter, I think about four minutes left, where we caught we caught um, Reggie Jackson on the switch on Doncic, and Doncic had him on the ropes. He wanted no parts of him here. Gave him up way too much room. That's check check the wind and hit that one all day long. And Hardaway, he took his turn on him here again, backing up, giving up too much room. And because they don't want to help off the shooters, Jackson's on an island, and Doncic is just way too big for him in there. And it's odd to me that the Clippers didn't pick up on this because in overtime, with about a minute left, what you saw is the length of Paul George actually bothered Doncic on one of those step back jump shots that he was going to get here simple simple play just get the ball in they get the switch that they want Jackson backs up too much room boom shaka Luka, the game's over so for me unless the Clippers get um, their pick and roll issues in check it's gonna be a long series for them or a short series rather it's now best of three um, I think, you know, the Mavericks have done a great job identifying the weaknesses of the Clippers and, you know, on that last play, personally, I'd have kept Paul George as the long defender on Doncic uh, and, and not switch so easily, especially with that little time left. But, you know, then again, thinking about it, maybe Doc Rivers was as aware of his recent history trying to guard go-ahead shots at the end of the game. I'm just joking, but yeah, that's been my breakdown of game four of the NBA Western Conference playoff series between the Clippers and the Mavericks. Game five is tonight. Remember, again, smash the like button, subscribe to the notification bell, share it with your friends if you enjoyed the breakdown, and I'll be back with more for you later on in the week. Take care.